And <coughs> so we continue with continuity. Continue with continuity. That sounds interesting. And in particular, we're going to address the comp continuity of a composition. So, in terms of notation, we're going to say that if f, uh, if uh, g of x is the input to f of x, like so, we have the composition f of g of x, and with alternative notation, we're going to write it as f <laughs> composition g of x, like so, with a little circle. And this was defined in the, in pre-calculus, and. <clears throat> Just to give you a quick example, if f of x equals e to the x and g of x equals sine x, okay, then we need to find the composition f of g and the solution is going to be uh, We're going to write that uh, since f of x equals e to the x, then f of g is e to the g, and we're going to write um, in, since g is g of x is sine x, then f of g of x will be e to the sine x, like so. It's, it's a very simple proposition, and uh, you've seen this before. And now here's the property in terms of continuity. So the property says the following. If f of x is continuous at x equal uh, let's say x equal b, and the limit, I'm sorry, at x equals, b, and the limit of g of x when x approaches a equals b, then the limit of f of g when x approaches a equals to the function, or to f of the limit of g when x uh, approaches a. Let me write it. It will make uh, it will make more sense once you see it on paper. Okay. So suppose f of x is continuous at the point, and the point is x equals b. Okay, and and suppose that the limit of g of x when x approaches a is b. Okay? So put these two suppositions together and you end up having the limit of f of g of x, the composition, as x approaches a equals uh, remember, there is a rule that, uh, for instance, if you think about it as the power rule or the square root of rule, let's look at the power rule. The limit of a power function is the power of the limit. The limit of a, of a root of a function is the root of the function. Well, it turns out that this rule applies to composition as well. Uh, the limit of the comp f of g will be f times the limit of g of x when x approaches a, like so. So this property is actually a theorem, but we'll consider it as a property as we are not going to uh, <clears throat> we are not going to prove it here. So let's see how this is being used. For example, we want to evaluate the function, uh, the limit, 
of a function e to the sine x, in other words, the function that is the result of the composition from the pre previous example when x approaches 0. Okay? And let's see how we're going to use this property in the cont by uh, the composition property. So, here we go. By the composition property, so here comes the solution. By the composition property, we have that the limit of e to the sine x when x approaches 0. So we have the left side, as this is the composition, f composition g. The right side tells me it's f. f is e. So it will be, the right side going to be e raised to the limit of sine x when x approaches 0, okay, like so. And now we can evaluate, <clears throat> okay, what is the limit? Uh, sine x is one of those functions that are continuous over the domain, and the domain of sine x is negative infinity to infinity. So we can apply the substitute, and it will be simply e, to the sine of 0, right? And of course, sine of 0 is 0, so it will be e to the 0, and e to the 0 is 1. So here's the result of this composition, the limit of the composition. So <clears throat> you can see how we use the right side of the property, and we evaluated the function of a limit rather than the limit of a function. Make sense? All right. So this this was something that uh, I felt that I need to uh, include in order for the sake of completion of the section. <clears throat>